you live. Bam, bam, bam. You die. Bam, bam, bam. You fight as brothers. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andre. I'm a black nerd. I just got back into town from Boston, Massachusetts. I went to PAX East, came home on a red-eye flight, thinking I'm about to go to bed, give me some sleep, but oh no, the MTV Movie Awards had to show some Ninja Turtle footage. Gotta make a vid, gotta make a vid, gotta make a, make a, make a vid for Splinter. So yes, during the MTV Movie Awards, they showed a commercial, a TV spot for the Ninja Turtles movie that is coming up that is produced by Michael Bay, not directed. Apparently, you gotta make that very clear to some people so people get their little panties in a twist if you don't mention that it's produced, not directed, by Michael Bay. He's directing Transformers, Age of Extinction. Someone else is directing this movie. He's just producing it. Cause that's gonna make all the difference. Directed by Jonathan Leesman. Leesman, Leesman. See, I can't say his name, that's why I never say it. That's why I always talk about Michael Bay producing it, because I can't say the dude's last name and the director's last name. Lesbian? Le lesbian? Lesbian? Lesbian man? Jonathan Lesbian man. But before I go ragging on this and that about the movie, let me say something nice. I got something, okay? The posters. They put out these four posters, and it's just a close-up of the hand and the weapons. I like the posters. I want to own those posters. I want to have a frame of all four of the posters together in one giant frame. Kudos to the posters. Whoever came up with those posters, Probably because they're still working on the faces. Whoever came up with those posters, good job. The TV spot showed a lot of clips that we saw already in the trailer of the what I like to call the Monet Turtles, where <laughs> from far away, they look pretty cool, but then you close up, you see that face, you're just like, ugh, you know, it's a clueless reference. Go look it up. A couple of exceptions, there was a turtle on a skateboard that also had some jet power in the back. Is that a cheapskate? We also got to see a close up of Raphael, who's apparently wearing a do-rag and shades and also has done a lot of steroids. Seriously, Raphael, you gotta lay off the roids, bro. I mean, there's a shot where he just hits this guy and it looks like his one arm <laughs> is like huge and then he's got like a little Chris Elliott from Scary Movie 2 arm <laughs> on the other side because this one is massive. Did he, did he like blow all of the muscle from one arm to the other, like Popeye style, and then just went, well, I am what I am because I am a ninja turtle, woo -hoo! and then I hit some. Are you a battle toad? That's what something that a battle toad would do. Remember the battle toads, like they would kick and their foot would turn to a boot or they would punch and the hand would get really big. If you wanted to make a battle toads movie, I'm just saying. I'm sure the rights are available. But forget all that nonsense. We know what we're talking about here. Splinter. Now, a lot of people were like, is Splinter in this movie because he was not in the trailer? We get this TV spot. Before we even get to actually seeing Splinter, or at least the back half of him, we get to hear his voice. Like, I guess that's Splinter that's supposedly talking. Well, you live. Boom, boom, boom. You die. And my first question was, well, is that Tony Shalhoub? As a lot of people know, there's been a lot of articles written about how Tony Shalhoub is apparently now the voice of Splinter. Danny Woodburn was the, the actor that did the body motion, the motion capture for Splinter, and we all assumed that he was also going to be the voice of Splinter, but now supposedly Tony Shalhoub of Monk fame is going to be doing the voice of Splinter, and that Johnny Knoxville supposedly is the voice of Leonardo. This hasn't been officially confirmed by Paramount, but it's pretty much all over the place, and they ain't said no, so you let us know, but as of right now, that seems to be what we're going with. Which now makes me feel like every time I see the scene from the trailer where they're sliding down the snow, you know, the turtles slide down the snow and they hit that truck at the end, now all I can hear is the jackass theme. Someone should take the footage from that and perfectly merge the jackass theme on top of it. So when the turtles are sliding down, it just goes bow, bow, bow. <laughs> He has an interesting voice. It doesn't seem like it's very Japanese stereotypey voice. It just seems like someone who has some authority. For some reason, I don't like to show faces. Maybe they're still working on his face. Maybe they're trying to be like, hey, does his face have a big nose and lips? We don't know yet. He looks like a rat. A rat with a Fu Manchu mustache for some reason. Yes, if you ever wanted your Splinter to have a Fu Manchu mustache, then Ninja Turtles on August 8th is the movie for you. I'm not upset that he has a Fu Manchu mustache. I'm just kind of like, well, I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. You did it. And I'm not particularly like, err about it, but it's not really anything I asked for either. So if that's what you're gonna go with, okay. Um, but I didn't need it. I mean, you, you know, you could have just did a regular rat face. That would have been just fine. I mean, it is Splinter, but if you have decided to now give him Fu Manchu stash, okay. Hey, I mean, whatever. I just, I don't, I'm, I'm, guys, 
I know you want the craziness and the what. I just, I don't know anymore, man. All I can say is, is that I'm a little happy that he looks this way, no matter how ridiculous it is. If he's supposed to be like traditional Asian cultured splinter, this kind of makes me happy because there's been a lot of people who have been theorizing that if Shredder worked with April's dad on creating the Ninja Turtles, there could be the possibility that Splinter could be April's dad, and that makes me just cringe, and I'm like, please, for the love of everything Eastman and Lair, do not make Splinter April's dad. The fact that he has a Fu Manchu mustache, the fact that he looks like he is Asian cultured, makes me at least hope that he could possibly not be April's father, as some people think in theory. Then of course it could still be adoption. We all know. Supposedly Karai is in this movie and Karai is Asian in this movie but Shredder is a white dude so we don't know. The turtles could be frogs. We don't know. They could be punk frogs. Attila, Rasputin, Napoleon, Genghis. Yeah that's right I named the punk frogs. Don't mess with me I'm a turtle fan. Like him or hate him or whatever one thing that got me excited is he seems to be holding a katana blade or some kind of sword and he looks at somebody and you can see from like the final frames of the section of just Splinter that looked like that was Shredder in the back and for that, hell yeah. If we're gonna have Splinter and Shredder fight in this movie, mm, thumbs up, yes, that's what I want. I want Splinter to be badass, I want him fighting the Shredder, I want him to go full on Yoda episode two Star Wars. I got a sword. <laughs> I'm gonna take you out myself, Shredder. And then you beat up my students. You beat up my sons. I got beef with you. Ha, 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 ha. Then, all right, now we're talking. That's the movie we wanna say. Forget the Ninja Turtles. Let's just take the Ninja Turtles out of this. Let's just make Splinter the movie, okay? It's his turn to shine, okay? The Turtles are always front and center with the cowbungas and the booyaka shots. Just push them aside. Take those little steroid turtles out of the way and let's just make a movie about Splinter. That's why I say, just scrap the whole thing, make Splinter the movie with his Fu Manchu mustache, and we are good to go. Who's down for Splinter the movie? Splinter vs. Shredder, the motion picture, in 3D and IMAX. Ticket bought. Still too early to tell, I mean, we literally are talking about the back of a character. We have not even seen his face, so it's really hard to say, but you know what? The fact that Splinter could possibly fight in this movie, that makes me a little excited. I did notice that when Michelangelo did the old, it's just a mask, and took that off, I noticed that scene of showing his face got chopped off a little bit less in this version than it was in the movie trailer. So they, I kind of feel like there's still some tinkerings. And is it just me? It seemed like Michelangelo looked a little bit different. I could be hallucinating because I have not slept for like three days. I feel like there was at least a little bit of re-rendering or tinkering or something to Michelangelo. He just looked not like much. I mean, I still saw nosy and I still saw lippies, but it just something looked a little different about him. Or maybe it was just the fact that the scene was cut a little bit shorter so we could see Megan Fox do her Oscar award-winning faint. <laughs> Now I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of this Splinter, or at least the back half of them? Do you, does this get you excited? Do you think that this Splinter right, or do you think the Fu Manchu mustache is a bit much, a little racist? Oh, I'm sorry, Fu Ratchu. I guess I should be saying Fu Ratchu. And what do you think about these voices? If they are legit, Leonardo is Johnny Knoxville, Splinter is Tony Shalhoub. We don't know who the other turtles are voiced by yet. Michelangelo even talks, and I don't even know who his voice is. Who do you think should voice the turtles? For more ridiculous videos like this, make sure you tickle that subscribe button so you can get new videos from me every single week. Thumbs up this video if you like it. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy5000. Chain chomp. Yelp.